Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have a fun, easy, and free DIY to share with y'all. So let's get started. I don't know about you, but I have a ton of boxes laying around the house. Yes, diaper boxes like I'm showing you here, Target, Walmart, Amazon Prime, you name it. And I actually had been using a diaper box like I'm showing you here for storage. And I was like hauling things upstairs, back and forth. And I was like, you know what, let's make this a little bit prettier. So that's the DIY I have to share with you today. Okay, let's go ahead and talk about materials. You will need an empty box. I will be using a, a diaper box. I will also be using some scrapbooking paper. This little paper pad is from Hobby Lobby that I picked up last year. Some adhesive spray. This is from the Dollar Tree. 10 out of 10 recommend. You will also need some scissors, a utility knife or X-Acto knife. Mine is from the Dollar Tree as well as these little detailing scissors from the Dollar Tree. 10 out of 10 or recommend those as well. You will also need a glue gun or E6000 which I highly recommend. And I did use a few more extra materials so just check the description box below for a full list of materials. Alrighty first things first I am taking my Dollar Tree utility knife and I am just going to slice off the flaps. Now you don't want to throw these away. We will be using them here in a little bit. Okay so we are going to take those flaps and use them as little inserts for our storage container and we're going to use them to create dividers. Now I would do as I say here and not as I do. I'm starting to work on the dividers um, and I'm going to start inserting them in. However, if you want to line the inside of your box, I would do that now. I didn't think that I was going to line the inside of my box, though I ended up doing it. I started working on my divider. So I took the shorter flap and I started to hot glue it to a popsicle stick. For the purpose of this video, I did use my hot glue gun on camera, but off camera, I did put down some E6000 and I let it cure just so that it would really hold up for a while. So just glue this down to a popsicle stick and you've got yourself a little divider. Alrighty, moving right along, I am going to start working with my scrapbooking paper so that I can cover the inside and the outside of my box. If you don't want to use scrapbooking paper, you can paint your box. You can use some chalk paint and that would look really good. You could also use some contact paper. The Dollar Tree does carry contact paper and that would look good as well. But I am using this paper pad. I pulled out this floral scrapbooking paper. I think it looks absolutely adorable. And for the inside of my box, I'm going to use a different print that I think is so cute. So this is where I would recommend to do this step before you had put the divider down, but I'm just gonna go ahead and make it work. And to adhere my scrapbooking paper to the box, I will be using this Dollar Tree adhesive glue spray. Y'all, it is really good, 10 out of 10 recommend, and it is very tacky. So I'm just going to go ahead and just spray this on the box. I do recommend using like a sponge brush to you know spread it out. I will do that in a clip coming up but for now I just kind of made it work.
And here is a look at my box covered in scrapbooking paper, which is why I really recommend using a paper pad because the paper pad is already really cohesive in their colors and in their prints. So I chose a cute little girl, the little glasses and the floral print, and I think that they look absolutely adorable together. So really loving it. Let's go ahead and move on to making another divider for the box. I'm gonna go ahead and take one of those longer flaps and I'm gonna go ahead and cover it in scrapbook paper the same way using glue using my scrapbooking paper and if you didn't want to use the short divider you could use it a long ways like this the possibilities are endless but i'm going to go ahead and make a smaller divider here so i'm just going to go ahead and make a few cuts cover this divider in scrapbooking paper and get it glued down Okay, so at this point my box is done, but you know me, I just love decorating. So I took a sheet out of that scrapbooking paper pad that had these adorable little girls on it and I used those little Dollar Tree detailing scissors. I cut them out and I will be adhering them to my box. Now you could definitely use glue, glue tape, double-sided tape, a glue stick, but I'm going to use my sticker maker, absolutely love the sticker maker recommend it so so much now mine is quite old um i know the one that they have at michael's hobby lobby it looks similar but the coloring is different so i will leave a link to one from amazon if you guys are interested or want to check it out these sticker makers are amazing all you do is simply run your scrapbooking paper or whatever it is that you want to turn into a sticker and you lay it down and you roll it through your little sticker maker machine and it's easy as one, two, three, and it turns it into a sticker. It is amazing. So once I get all of these adorable little girls turned into stickers, I am going to just style them on my box just for that extra little touch. I think they are absolutely perfection. Alrighty, my box is done. It is ready to be filled. I personally will be using my box for some planner, crafting, journaling storage. So that's what I'm adding here into my box. You could totally use this for anything. Well, that's a wrap for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick, easy, and free DIY. I used everything that I had on hand here at the house. I did not go out and buy anything special to be able to create this. Just use what you have on hand. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are not already subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you won't miss my next upload, and I'll see you on my next one. Bye, guys. Bye.